I saw this, this wall. I'm setting up a gallery across the street, and every time I passed by it, I thought, what a perfect place for a mural. The city of Little Rock is trying to develop this whole area into a creative corridor, and they wanted to see more public artwork in the area. When I first started making proposals about what we could do creatively with the mural project, I presented several ideas. Uh, some were just sections of paintings I had previously done, and one of them was a, a painting of koi. So what I'm looking to do with the koi is really just kind of create a pattern of shapes, values, and colors. So it's more than just fish in a pond. I'm just using those fish to create a composition. It's quite a process to, to put a, uh, a painting onto a mural. Um, and it started for me by uh, doing a drawing to scale. I measured the wall. So it's approximately 30 feet tall, 142 feet wide. I did a drawing to that scale of the composition of the koi. Uh, I then did a painting to understand how I would approach the color. I used the drawing in black and white. I scanned it and then projected it with a digital projector from across the street uh, onto the wall surface. Once we had projected the image on there, we were able to trace over the outline from the projection in black and white. Once we had the black and white layer done, we could start applying color. We had a partnership with the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. I worked with seven art students who are in the fine arts area, and they helped a lot with the prep work and the composition and the first stages of color. And I just, I'm doing the final stages by myself. We started thinking about it about a year ago, but the actual painting part of it has taken just over a month. I have often stepped back and thought, what am I doing? This is a huge wall. This is a gigantic piece of concrete. With a big wall like this, it just increases the payoff. It, the scale itself um, is, is part that makes the, the composition so compelling. Anytime you're outside working, uh, especially in a downtown setting, people come by all the time. People give me thumbs up, people uh, you know, honk their horns when they're driving by. I had a guy come by just yesterday, he said, uh, you are a bad man. And <laughs> so I knew what he meant. It made me actually feel pretty good. I mean, he, he meant that I was uh, pretty good at what I was doing, so. The feedback I'm getting is that everybody thinks this is gonna be a cooler area to be. A month ago, we had this blank wall and it hadn't been cleaned in 20 or 30 years. And now we have this colorful work of art. And I think that goes hand in hand with what everybody else is trying to do in this area. We've got new buildings here now. We've got a new streetscape here. We've got restaurants, we've got theater, we've got dance, we've got music, we've got visual arts. Um, and it's just creating more vibrant culture and people are getting on board with the idea. So since, since I want to be a part of that, I want to create something uh, to contribute to that. I want to create something uh, energetic, something colorful, something vibrant to this area. And you know, this has just been a perfect opportunity to do that. I'm 50 years old and I have been painting, drawing pretty much my entire life. You know, this is just another step and it's a large, large canvas for me. So it's a real milestone in my, in my career and in my life.